Alright guys, so just testing, uh, this is a pretty small, obscure little game called Assault Spy. It's kind of a uh, Devil May Cry, but with an uh, anime office espionage, uh, corporate espionage vibe. Um, uh, initially loads windowed, um, there's an option full screen. Uh, just kind of configuring stuff like the, um, the resolution just before I start. Um, have a look at the options so you can see it starts in windowed. Um, now the window size just kind of really affects the 2D UI size so you can kind of set that lower if you don't mind the UI being slightly less resolution. It's the resolution in your Steam or OpenXR settings which, which matters. Um, I just realized uh, you can't do the story with uh, Amelia yet. You have to uh, unlock it after, I, I believe, doing the um, the main story. So there's quite a lot of uh, cool features in this game. It's pretty cheap as well on uh, Steam right now. Yeah, typically you see the level loading before you actually get in, in the game. The little black screen's just there to hide <laughs> it while it slowly loads in. Yes, yeah, so this is little kind of training training mode. I'm just kind of like checking everything's working in uh, both eyes, but it looks good. Yeah, later on in this game, it, the combat is really really responsive. Um, it's really good, even though it's like visually pretty simple. But. Yeah, it's nice to see like uh, just checking like all the UI options stuff works just for like playability for uh, later on. Here yeah, I'm just changing the world scale again. It's, you, you don't really see it, but I'm just changing it to be like miniature in front of me. I, I do quite like that in third person action games, especially if it's like quite an open open world. Such a cool, <laughs> such a cool loading screen. So sometimes like uh, if your camera offsets a bit weird I'll just quickly use the hotkey to change back to default settings. Um, generally the default camera works best in cutscenes so you just want to quickly change it to This uh, visual novel section is actually <laughs> really cool. Like it does have some letterboxing at the top, top and bottom but really you could probably find a way of removing that but it's not causing me any problems. And uh, normally I turn off depth of field, but actually, um, I, I think yeah, here I, I turn off depth of field and motion blur, just be like, oh, I saw that was on. But actually, later on in the video, I turn it back on because I think the the cutscenes look quite good with the depth of field. Um, so you're just focusing on like the character portraits, really nice animations and voice work in it. <laughs> So you can see me, uh, so I didn't actually save my preset, I just kind of moved to one and then reset it, so you have to, you have to save them to a slot. Now you can do that with a um, the shortcut key, um, but sometimes I'll just specifically save it to the slot I want with the, with the button. So now I have just the default camera offset and then I can quickly switch to tiny world scale. So you can see here, I, the depth of field is off, um, and it's about to do uh, like the visual novel bit. And I was like, oh, actually, it looked way better with depth of field, so I'm going to turn it back on. あのさ、見張りは見張りはつまんねえこのバックレトーンだよ。もっとちゃんと買うのにもスパイっぽいことさせろや。会社はなんで君を首にしないんだ。ああ、これ何？おいちょっと気をつけてくれよ。言い忘
It's got a lot of positive reviews on Steam. I was sort of surprised it looked like such a like a tiny little game, but it's, it's the combat here is really awesome. It's like a whole bunch of like combos and like in the menu there's like a uh, big combo list of all the different moves. So I change it to a little tiny world scale. Sometimes it's easier just to, you can do that while like in gameplay if you're really quick. Um, so it's easier just to like pause it and then. There's a lot of effects here, but um, it seems to work basically perfectly in native stereo. So. Just looking at all the little videos of all the different moves. I think maybe you, you can unlock more uh, as you go on. Business cards, briefcase. <laughs> Instead of like uh, guns and the sword and devil micro. Now, um, in a moment, I kind of realized um, the UI is like a little bit too big, so I use the UI offset, like, so I make it smaller and kind of bring it closer. Uh, smaller, bring it closer to me. Um, doesn't show too well on a 2D flat screen, but just to make it, because I'm actually using the tiny world scale right now, um, so just to have it kind of like small and in front of me and just kind of the right place to focus on for my eyes is comfortable. Also, um, I just want to move it up slightly. Um, and because the, the default clicks are quite large, I just switched to my mouse to do like a finer movement. But you can do control, click and uh, type in a number um, into one of those as well. If you want to like set it back to zero. You can see it's kind of got a tinier world scale slightly because my head movements result in um, more distance travelled, <laughs> I guess, on the on the two D screen. But it's really cool to have this little kind of like diorama um, action <laughs> play set in front of me. I think I did a perfect dodge there. I think this is one of these games which is like <laughs> it seems simple on the. Um, on the surface, but actually quite deep. I just actually realised watching this again, the um, the like cool bar, like a uh, super crazy cool skill bar, is called a con <laughs> like a C is economy. <laughs> Seem to be picking up business cards. Yeah, so this is uh, Assault Spy. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, I've got quite a few more games to test, but we're getting close to 300. Works well and works perfectly. So stay tuned.